Okay, it's seven o'clock. Um, welcome to my live art show. It's the first time I'm doing this um, on Facebook, and we'll see how I do. Um, tonight I'll be uh, showing you six pieces of art, six of my projects or pieces that will be available for special pricing tonight only. And uh, it's just for viewers like you today. And we're gonna have some fun talking about the stories behind each piece and things that you wouldn't know just from looking at them. And uh, all of a sudden I'm getting all these emails popping up on my screen. Um, so thanks for joining me today. And um, everything I'm showing you tonight, six pieces, uh, is one of a kind. So you won't, hi Janice. So you won't be able to, um, there's only one available of each piece. So original artwork. So if you see something you like, there is a link that, um, that I've put in and, um, you know, you can go in and purchase it. Shipping is free. And what else do you need to know? Um, just hope you have fun and sit back and enjoy watching. So let's get started with piece number one. Now we'll see how this works. I'm just doing it with one camera. Piece number one is called Orange Hydrangeas. And so it's a beautiful piece. It's eight by 10. It's in a 16 by 20 mat. So that it's, it's fairly large, but I, I get the standard size mats. Uh, so that you can have it put into a, um, a very inexpensive frame, uh, if, if that's what you want to do. Um, something at Michael's or Target. They, I, I actually did a, um, a video about framing on a budget, and it's on my YouTube channel. But um, this is a great piece. You, I, I'll go in close and... You probably wouldn't realize it, but those big flowers are collage. They're actually, um, you know, paper that's glued onto it and it's very detailed. And my work is the orange and then the pops of white, blues, greens, um, little circles at the top. You know, I pull it all together using some um, very, very fine paper that I had. And it's really pretty. It was one that I did for um, one of the classes that I take. I'm always taking classes and learning. And um, so this one uh, in this 16 by 20 mat would sell for, um, ordinarily would sell for, what would I have, 175 and tonight only it's $99 and that includes shipping. And so it'll come to you in a flat envelope or box. And uh, like I said, 16 by 20 is a very standard size to purchase a, an inexpensive frame and uh, you know, be able to hang it almost immediately. So it's, again, it's got some great colors. Some of my favorite colors, oranges, hot pinks, or at least my favorites to paint with. Greens, white, and leaving some uh, uh, space around the sides. So the picture, you can see at the picture, the, the flower kind of comes off of the square, that kind of thing. This, my, my work tonight that I'm going to show you, a lot of it is florals. Um, one, because I just love flowers and it's that time of year to start enjoying the flowers. And another reason is Mother's Day is coming and flowers are always nice and flowers as art instead of the real thing are also uh, something that will last forever. Okay, my second piece it's called, uh, let me pull it up. Yeah, Roses and Tulips. And these I drew from, um, from some actual flowers I had uh, that I had received on Valentine's Day. 
and it was white roses, pink tulips, and it was beautiful. So again, it's it's more or less an eight by 10. This one might be nine by 12, inside of a 16 by 20 white mat. Again, ordinarily for framing, um, or nearly would sell for uh, 225, uh, but tonight only it's $99. So I'm gonna go in, zoom in, and show you some details. I actually use this piece in my calendar too. Um, I, you know, I have a calendar for sale on my website and I actually have one left if anybody's interested that's already printed up. I'm sorry, I get this backwards and can't really see what I'm doing with the, uh, with this like this. So it's got some great blues. One of my favorite shades of blue, which is kind of a periwinkle and the bright greens. Um, a lot of pencil marks through here to, you know, define the flowers better. White, um, China marker, I think that is, um, to kind of define it. And just a really pretty, sweet piece. Okay, piece number three is, <laughs> I called it Melancholy Baby. Nothing melancholy about this at all. It's, um, but it's melon. <laughs> melon colored baby. Uh, it's, uh, let me, again, it's an eight by 10 piece and on in a 16 by 20 white mat, ready for framing in a more or less well, not more or less, a very standard size frame, 16 by 20 inches. And this is one I did, I was working on something where the idea is you start with a, a bright background and then paint in front of it. So um, I, uh, this one I think I started with the orange background. And so you can see, now I have to zoom in. You can see little bits of orange behind these flowers. And we kind of, I um, hope you're seeing this well. Uh, you know, paint on top of the orange, then come back, pull a little more orange out. And, and a lot of my favorite other kind of markings that I do with China markers, other markers, graphite, um, certain kind of pens, but it's got, let me see if I can tell you all the colors, pinks and white, lime green, the orange in the background, bright orange, more of a melon in different places, uh, yellow, white, I think I said white, hot pink, kind of a magenta, hot pink. Again, bright colors. Um, and, and a lot of fun. And that's what I try and do with all my paintings. I just try and have, have, have fun for me and fun to look at too. So again, that's, that's piece number three. It's, it's uh, on the website, it's called Melancholy Baby and ordinarily would sell for 175 and tonight it's $99. Okay, this next one, let me uh, decide how to do this. I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit. This one is blue tulips and put a little more light on it. Um, blue tulips is 18 by 24 inches. Um, it's got a lot of neutrals in the background, kind of a periwinkle blue tulips, um, graphite, very abstract of some actual flowers I had. Um, so I, you know, painted the neutrals, kind of a, the olive or mossy green 
for the leaves, some grays, some splashes of white, and uh, on the flowers themselves, some little um, drops of orange paint. Um, a lot of detail over here, and I don't know if I can zoom in very well, but um, some yellow, just lines, and then what's called ischemic writing. It looks like writing, but it doesn't really say anything. Um, some more markings, some more yellow up here. Let me um, see if I can bring it in closer. Let's see, oops. So you can see some of the details. if I've got that back where it was. <laughs> um, so this one, uh, it's 18 by 24. It's not matted. And it's uh, ordinarily itself a 325, but for, not, for tonight, it's 225. And again, shipping is free. And if, if you live any, in the New Orleans area, I'll bring it to you myself. <laughs> Um, so very pretty piece painted from the original flowers that I had. Um, although of course they weren't blue. I just like the blue and wanted to paint with blue flowers. And that's part of the abstractness of painting. You know, the artist gets to decide those things. The next piece is, and there, there is a link Oh, there's supposed to be a link um, somewhere on there or where the, on the event page and or it might be in the first comments that's a link to the website and uh, these will only be up for a few days and then I'll probably take the whole take the link down um, because these are only for sale tonight and for the next couple of days um, after that they'll probably be in a, a art market and uh, I don't know, small ones like this I don't usually put on the website. And so the next piece, piece number five, let me get this off, is one I did last week. Okay, good, you can see it fine just right like that. Uh, I call this exuberance. Uh, it's a painting it was an art class assignment or, you know, studio assignment not to use any brushes. So we had to paint and mark and use other any kind of tool we wanted to, um, you know, to create our art. I want to say to paint, but to, to create our art. And, and there are all kinds of tools that I use. Some, um, I didn't bring them with me, but uh, or put them out tonight, but things like a shaper that are kind of like if you think of a spatula, you know, you can put paint on and pull it back and make marks and, you know, paint underneath and then dig back into it with, uh, with the back of a um, pencil or anything like that. And this has all kinds of details and I will try to zoom in a little bit on it a lot of color a lot of energy um it was really fun to do especially for somebody like me who loves color and and uh bright colors but really it's not that that many colors to create it um probably I'm going to guess four plus black and white and then all the colors that you can mix out of that, which are really fun. Let's see. So, I mean, these things like this are the, are a, an acrylic crayon. It's almost like paint. In fact, it feels like paint now that it's dry. Um, others are, you know, paint but applied with 
I don't even remember. I used so many different things. The, the spatula kind of tool. This was probably a brayer where you roll the paint on. I have some tools that kind of scrape the paint back like this. This was a kind of like um, oh, a mesh that you'd get vegetables in or something using that. I use that in a couple of places. And then drops of ink right up here. Really a fine pointed tip that I have that goes on a, a small paint bottle. So, and then pencils, or really not just pencils, graphite, heavy graphite. And some of the more the um, acrylic crayons. So, a lot of fun. And that's what, if you've seen my website, it says, you know, a paint for fun, nothing too serious. Um, what that says, just having fun. And um, I'm a semi-retired architect, so I really enjoy painting. All right, and, oh, I didn't say that price. Let me see, that one is, just lost my thing. Here we go. It's called Exuberance. Because of the size, that's uh, 25 and a half, I think by 30 and a half. It's actually on the website, the actual size. Ordinarily would sell for 525, tonight it's 325. And I'll give you a second to keep looking at that. Piece number six is called Lake Martin. Uh, this is one on a canvas, it's 18 by 24, that friend sent me um, some photograph or a photograph of Lake Martin. And this is not what I usually do, but I, I abstracted from the photograph because I thought it was so beautiful and she you know, was telling me how pretty the area is. And so I abstracted the cypress trees and the water and the reeds that grow up along the side. And uh, Lake Martin is a, a, one of the, I, don't, I guess you would say a swamp, um, one of the swampy areas in Louisiana. So it's really pretty. It's on, you know, a gallery wrapped canvas, 18 by 24. Um, ordinarily something this size would sell for 375. Tonight I'm, I'm marking it down to 275. And I'll give you some little details of that. It's got, and like all the abstracts that I do, it's got pencils in it, it's got paint, um, what else? I'm sorry, I can't see it now. But it's, it's got some turquoises in the color and gray. Let's see if I can see what I'm doing. Here we go. A lot of the water, a lot of turquoise in the water coloring a little orange in there yellow kind of weird to show stuff without having the the um without being able to see what i'm zooming in on but beautiful cypress trees um cypress trees and the moss you can kind of see let me go in when i do the the pencil marks kind of all the the droopy leaves and things that typical to cypress trees in Louisiana. So that's my show for tonight. And thanks for watching. Uh, there is a link or you can go to Julie Brown, www.juliebrownart.com or Julie Brown Art on Facebook. There'll be a link to this to the website and to the um, to to this little area on the website, which is the sale tonight. Uh, that'll only be there for a few days. And also, if you go to that link, 
you can get 20% a coupon 20% off for anything else on my website that if you see anything you're interested in or if you've never been to the website before please go and and um, I've got a lot a lot of things on there not too much I offer original art prints of some of my favorite pieces um, the prints of, are really very reasonably priced and high quality they're printed at a, a at Bay Photo Labs in California, um, and they they do an awesome job. And again, if you want to look at my YouTube videos, I have some where I, I show literally the original painting and the print, and you can hardly tell the difference. But what's really fun is that it can get much larger. You can print it to any size you want. And I also have sides of calendars, um, I have coasters, and almost any of my paintings can be made into coasters and phone cases. And those are a new thing and, and they've been a lot of fun. So, uh, I don't know if there are any questions. Let me just check. Doesn't look like there are any questions. So, um, thank you for watching. And this will be um, reposted. So, if you want to go back and look at anything, you can. So, thanks for tuning in. Bye.